everyone, Tina here. I hope your day is going wonderful. Thanks so much for joining me. Uh, we are going to create a cute little basket with the bunny jumping in, and I think it's going to be super fun. Um, we are using the Spellbinders Large Die of the Month Club Kit for February 2024. This is um, the Floral Bunny Basket. Before we jump in and get started, I want to apologize for my blue bandage. I don't have any regular band-aids. I blame that on my daughter. Um, when, it's so funny that she takes all the bandages just for a little scratch. She'll take a bandage and and use them all up without telling me we need to replace them. But when she was little, I would find band-aids all over on her bedroom wall. Um, she uses them as stickers, but um, I didn't find any skin tone ones, so I'm standing out literally like a sore thumb. Um, Normally the cats scratch me like this, <laughs> but yesterday uh, I went, I had bought a brand new pink potato peeler and I was so excited about it. I threw it in the dishwasher and when I was unloading, I forgot it was in there. It's a really sharp potato peeler and when I went in to grab it, I shaved my skin. And so I have a wound that is with a blue bandage and I hope this doesn't throw off the video too much. I apologize for that. But let's jump in and create a cute little bunny basket. That is my wound story. <laughs> and um, it doesn't hurt, it just looks pretty awful, that's all. Kind of goes with my manicure. <laughs> okay, let's start by doing some die cutting. This, oh, let me show you the back. You see, it's not a full bunny in here. You get tulips, you get little bluebells, um, you get a basket, and it's a pretty large basket that will fit on an A2 size card. Um, but the bunny, you can see here, it's just the backside of the bunny. So he is jumping in or hanging out of anything. So cute and I thought we would have him hanging out of a basket filled with carrots. So for the basket, I'm gonna bring in some cardstock first here. For carrots, I thought we'd use three different colors of orange, um, Tuscan, persimmon, barely peach. And then for the carrot tops, we have um, fern. Yeah, I did good, fern and peridot. And then for the basket, I'm going to mix white with silver fox, which is a warm gray. I thought we would, um, since my, and then the bunny's going to be white. So I thought we would add a little bit of warmth to the basket so the bunny doesn't get lost in it. Okay, um, lots of carrots. So we have the carrot base here. Oops. We have the carrot base. And I'm going to die cut about three of each color out. And then this piece here could be flowers. But it also could be um, the carrot tops. So we're going to die cut out um, some carrot tops with the light green and dark green. For our basket, we have the, sh the background. I'm going to cut the background out with my silver fox. Okay, and then there are holes here in the basket, kind of creating like a lattice weave. Um, I wanted the gray to be peeking out from behind. So we're going to die cut this out with white cardstock. So I do need to add the background die, kind of layer those together to create the front and the back. We have the basket handle, which I think is so fun that it's long. I know Simon Hurley just came out with a, um, a stamp set. I did a video, I'll link it at the end, where it's called Big Hugs and I think that would be really cute in the basket because it's big enough here for um, for that. Any kind of critter would be cute in here. Um, we have the top of the basket I'll die cut out with my silver fox and the bunny again with white cardstock. Push these over here and we'll doctor up the bunny after we have that die cut. So no flowers today, just carrots and the bunny. I'm going to run everything through my die cut machine and I will be right back. I have everything die cut. I already added the carrot tops to each one of my carrots. I'll show you how I did that. At the very top of the carrot, there's a piece that you can punch in. So I punched that in and then I have these two toppers. We're just going to use a little bit of glue at the base. And then I'm going to add my greenery. What I like to do to kind of make 
the greenery longer is stack them almost. Let me zoom in so you can see better. Okay, and then I'm going to add a little glue at that very top circle. And then I'm going to tuck. There's not much to tuck, but if you tuck in the base of that greenery, it kind of looks like it's coming out of the carrot. You see how that goes? And I did that to all of my carrots. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit of ink blending on my carrots before, before we put them aside. We have the darker ones, and then we have um, the mid-tone. And I'm bringing in my ink. I have some persimmon. And I'm just going to add a little ink to one side for a little bit of... It really does add a lot. Just putting it to one side gives it the carrots a little bit of depth. So let's do this really quick. Okay, now um, I did that with a light, the Barely Peach, and then also the Persimmon. But I don't think it's going to show up on my Tuscan card, um, cardstock. So I'm going to bring in some red ink. This is uh, Pinkbrush Studios Candy Apple. And then I'll link them all the inks that I use down below. I'm going to bring in a red ink and we're going to do the same on the Tuscan because it's going to show up a little bit better. Nice thing about adding ink to all of the etch detail, the ink will pick up. Makes it really nice. And there we go. Our carrots are all done. I'm going to wipe off my surface and then we're going to create a basket. The basket's really easy to create. I'm just going to add glue. I'm going to leave it open in case we want to tuck something. But I'm going to add glue along the base and along the left and the right. And then I'm just going to tack it down to my background. If you do flowers, you could put a green background. Let's go ahead and add two dots of glue at the base of... And instead of putting them in between where we created a pocket, See, we've created a little bit of a pocket. I'm just going to place my basket handles on the back just to make it easy and no one will ever see. And then we have the top of our basket here. I'm going to go ahead and take this and place this at the very top. Tack this down. And our basket is done. Pretty easy to create. You see how tall it is? You could make it as tall or as short by putting the basket handle lower to make a shorter basket. Okay, our that's done. Let's make a bunny, which is so adorable. Okay, these are the bunny feet. I punched them out. If you want pink um, bottoms of the toes and pink base of the feet, you would keep those pieces and inlay them. But rather than do that, I trimmed away some pink sand cardstock to put behind it. So I'm just going to turn this over, add some glue, and I'll take these pieces that I just trimmed and it put them behind the feet. So you can inlay with them or just put a piece of pink cardstock behind there for the same effect. And our bunny feet are done. Not, it's very easy to put this guy together. Now we have, uh, well, we have the bunny ears. Let's go ahead and tack these down. There's circles where you want to add the glue. I love that. Spellbinders does that. And then I'm just going to tack the body. And there is deboss detail to tell you exactly where to put the feet. This one's going to overhang just slightly. The feet go down because he's hanging out of the basket. So we'll tack this one. And then we will tack this one. Following that deboss detail. You see how that kind of overhangs a little bit? <laughs> you have a straight edge. The straight edge tells you where to put it on the basket. Now we have the bunny tail. Now before we add this, I want to show you a little trick on how to create a fluffy bunny tail. Now of course, if you have pom-poms, you can use this. Um, but these are a little too small. But I have 
cotton ball. This is 100% cotton, um, cotton ball. Um, I know that there's some synthetic cotton out there and it, it doesn't do the same thing. But I'm just going to take a little cotton ball, take a piece here. Let's, okay, let's add some more glue. We can add our bunny tail there. And nothing to it, but we have a little fluffy tail that I think is going to work so cute for our card today. Now for my background on my card, let me put this glue away. Okay, we're going to put the carrots aside, our bunny, and work on our background. I have an A2 panel of Spellbinder's uh, Glacier card stock. The Glacier card stock is a real pale blue. Now I'm going to use my blue ink and I'm going to fade up. I want to put some grassy edge on the very bottom here. So I want some blue to be darker coming up from the grass. So we're just going to fade about the one third mark here and go up. I'm using the Spellbinders Bunch of Borders die set. This has some grassy edge, a real dainty edge. It has a like an um, chevron and then it has some stars. Nice border set, but I really like the grass. So I die cut that out with my Peridot cardstock. And I'm going to go ahead and trim. Let's see. I'll take my ink blended background. We're going to add this to our card base. And then I'm going to take my grass and we're going to add this at the very bottom of the card base here. We'll tack this down. We'll add our grass. I didn't put any foam tape on the upper portion because we're going to tuck our basket in there. We'll tack this down. And let's see if this will fit. Yep, I think that's going to work out great. So let's add our basket here. And I kind of like that the grass is kind of flowing up. I think it gives a free flowing look to our card. Now we're going to fill it first with our carrots. And I want them to go to the top of the basket too. This is going to help secure the handle down. Wonderful. We have lots of carrots in there. And I left this spot open because this is where we're going to add our bunny. I'm going to flip it over and we're going to put some foam squares behind here. I'm going to use my Aura AB Gems and we're going to put some little shine. Hello. What? Okay, I'm going to use my tool picker up over here and we're just going to add a little bit of sparkle in our background. I think all baskets need bows so I tied a bow with some white twine and I'm just going to use a glue dot to secure it. I'm going to put it on the left of my card. So cute. And then lastly I'm going to bring in my corner rounder. This is actually new at Spellbinders. Spellbinders had a Fun Stampers Journey one, and I love this so much. Um, let me show you. It This creates a uh, great little envelope, too, because it creates notches. Now, I'm going through two, three heavy pieces of cardstock. I have a Spellbinders Glacier, which is very heavyweight, and then I have my card base, which is really heavyweight, and there's two stacked together. So this still goes through. You might need a little bit of effort, but it does go through them all. <laughs> okay, and then that will finish my card today. Cute little bunny card with a cotton tail. Lots of textures and dimensions. And I thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.